the advice I give to SWAT operators, especially the newer guys that are just getting started in it, is you got to train. You got to be the best guy. You got to be ready for everything. Train for the worst case scenario. It, it's it's a hard edge to keep sharp because there are a lot of skills. It's a life of preparation, really, for the moment that you don't know when it's coming. My name is Mark Mosier. I am a retired police officer uh, with uh, a little over 30 years of experience. I uh, retired and transitioned into a full-time police academy instructor. Now I get to work with officers from all over the state, not just within my specific agency, which is uh, very satisfying. So I, I still have that interaction and ability to bond uh, with these guys that are going out facing new challenges, and uh, it, it's satisfying to try to help them start off on the right foot. Hey, I got two, need two. With you, with you. The reason it's so important to train is the more proficient that these officers become at skills and techniques, the less likely mistakes occur you expose them to situations that may actually be much worse than they'll ever encounter. And so then when they are confronted in a stressful situation, they respond based off their training. One of the things that I try to encourage officers is if they're the best person they can be, they'll be a great police officer. So there's always a personality behind the badge. And if that personality is solid, then they'll be a good police officer. The respect will be reciprocated from the community they serve. What you, what you put out, you get, you get back.